What, what kind of burn? Where is the burn? Live. Who is the burn? From Why the is the burn? For another episode of the Rochelle Bros <laughs> News. I am your host, Kian Ibanez, and I am here today with the man feeling the burn. It's Gil. And I'm here with grumpy old Eli. Beard. Together we make Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not part? Am I part of this Bernie Sanders Voltron or no? You're the head, <laughs> and I'll form the head. I have the grump. I have the burn, and I'll form the head. Ugh. Dude, a Bernie Voltron. I kind of want that to be made now. Uh, if we I ever get some, fan art of anything, that should be the first. I just piece. want some sort of presidential fighting. A fighting game? Or yeah, just, that might exist. Yeah, there. I think there is. It's like the Founding Fathers or something. God, that would be such an awesome... Ah, uh, just fund us on Trump's Patreon. Trump's special attack is he builds a wall. And it doesn't work. He has terrible <laughs> defense. That, that is a fucking... Uh, that isn't a game, though. If they can fucking act... I don't remember. It's a totally super accurate battle simulator or something on Steam. Yeah. Trump is a unit you can get. He just builds walls. Did you know that someone made uh, a fan comic about um, uh, Trump and Mike Pence and called it uh, Walmite? And uh, they're on part two now. The first part was young Mike Pence given the power of Vice Presidentio from Walmite, who is Presidentio, and he his ability is to build walls, and Mike Pence's ability of electricity, and... Uh, Fucking his wife, not Mike Pence's wife, but Trump's Mel- wife, Melania, controls like water and stuff. And I think their first enemy was Mexico as like a character. And Walmart just builds his walls and like says something about like. Basically, they put like with if Walmart was super conservative, like his speech. And it's a very interesting comic, and I'm I, I'm gonna link it to you. Please don't. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> Gil. It's really funny. You should you should read it. Like. Like, Gil, Google Walmart. You you need to Google Walmart while we're I don't need to do I'm that. I'm going to Google Walmart right here. Oh, but what have you guys been up to? Eli, <gasps> you've been listening to... Do you, have you listen to any... Watched any interesting videos or anything like that? Oh, God, that hiccup about killed me. Or YouTube. It's... Oh, yeah, it's called My Hero Macadamia. Macadamia? Macadamia. Macadamia. That Jesus. makes way too much. Uh, I'm not okay with that. That's Walmart. <laughs> what the fuck? Yep. I'm not okay with any of this. Here's the cover of the first issue. This is lovely. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See, but like, and he's fucking orange. I didn't notice that till now. Now you notice that. Holy shit. No, I thought he was like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> You thought he was all my colors. I thought... <laughs> Essentially, yeah. No, like... That's very racist. So, you. yeah, if you watched any good How movies... How dare you and... discriminate against Oompa Loompas like that? And the members of Jersey Shore. Yes, I'm sorry, Jersey Shore. Sorry, Snooky. And other people. Other orange people. <laughs> Chester the Cheetah. I'm sorry. Chester the <laughs> Cheetah. He, is he orange, though? His fur is orange. His fur is But, orange. like, his skin is probably pink. Have you shaved a cat? Mmm, don't have to. But have you shaved a cheetah? Mmm, touche. But, yeah, have you watched anything interesting, Eli? Oh, God. I watched The Dragon Prince. If anybody knows what that is. Yeah, the guys who made the Avatar series. Okay, I thought so when it opened up with Book One, Moon. It's like, (laughs) there's only one other series that does this shit. (laughs) Yeah. So what did you think about the Dragon Prince, Eli? I mean, I liked it. It was fine. The animation's kind of choppy at times. I believe so too. It's it's 3D, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, God for it. It's it's weird at times. I don't know why they chose it, but it's whatever. Anything else? <sighs> oh God. Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. But I know I did watch something else. I was gonna bring up, so I'll get back to you. Mm, okay. What about you, Gil? Have you watched or seen anything interesting? The most interesting I, thing I have done with my week is I finished the first volume of Vigilantes. That's good. Did you like it? Yeah, I did enjoy it. That's good. I'm glad. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You're welcome. 
I mean, but you watched a couple of YouTube essays, though. Not relatively recently. Oh, not relatively? I thought you did. I that, thought that's why you brought it up while we were just watching. Uh, oh, technically, then, yeah, but it... Eh. That Mary Sue one? Yeah. So, it like, it... what was it about? Did, like, who made it? Do you... Uh, I think the guy's name was Literature Devil. Okay. Uh, basically, his he was just describing how... Mary Sue's have devolved into something that SJWs predominantly use. I didn't care about that. I was just more interested in what a more proper definition of a Mary Sue is. And generally, whenever anybody decides to do any topic like that, they usually go in depth. So I, I got think, a pretty good understanding of what a Mary Sue is. I think it's weird, though, because, like, I don't understand why people don't consider Superman a Mary Sue. I guess. Because he has flaws. They yeah. have clearly shown that he is more vulnerable than and most people let on. But I feel like Ray also has flaws. Does she though? I feel she does. How? She she does have obviously she she went. She in, has daddy issues. That's no, about it. No, it's not even daddy issues. In the Force Awakens, obviously they show her flaws because she goes through that temple. Like, I don't believe Ray is that big of a Mary Sue because the things that Ray does are very understandable in the last in in the Force Awakens. Are they? I do because Ray knows how to fight. Because she is a lived staff. On... That doesn't matter. You can give someone nunchucks for their whole life. There and is a give them fucking... a sword and tell them, Dude, go there is become a the best swordsman different... ever. No, that's the thing. Yeah, nunchucks are very different. There's a fucking difference between just nunchucks. Obviously, I can use nunchucks. That's fine. I can't use a sword because that doesn't take the same stancing. Both staffs and swords use about the same stancing in katas. They do. In, like, classic kendo and stuff like that, they use the same footing and stancing. Because bow staffs can also be used as quarter staffs, which quarter staffs go from the bottom to the top. That's she a legit. predominantly used it long. Long and strong, big and thick. And the point, and then, and then the point where, where he was, where she was fighting with that, not Adam Driver, that's his name, but Kylo Ren, he was wounded. He was emotionally unstable, so he wasn't thinking correctly. But he's so, still a, a vastly more skilled person than a user. I, I get that part, but at the same time, like, he was still conflicted. There's an emotional distance. There, there's a lot of things you can, like, read into it. Like, I get it. I don't like The Force Awakens that much, but I can also understand that, like, there, there are stronger contenders, like Luke Skywalker. Never flew a fucking fighter pilot in, never threw a... Flew a fucking Rebel Wing fly, fighter flyer in his life. X-Wing. X-Wing. I don't fucking watch Star Trek Wars. But he's able to fucking take down the Death Star. Like, I don't get why people are so pissed off that Rey can do this shit. And they're like, but Luke did, couldn't do this. That's understandable. I get the whole, like, oh, he should do this. But she's highly Force-sensitive. So, like, there's a possibility... And she grew Highly up. force sensitive doesn't but mean you should thing, be able to just automatically like, use everything. What I'm trying to explain the is they've heard the fucking myths of the Jedi and what they it were able to do. It does now, yo. Fair enough. Yeah. Because they were what were they what they were able to do. The fucking kids, the fucking kids at the end of the Force Awakens, they already knew the myths of the Jedi that they could use their words to get out of problems. So Ray could have easily thought about that. Like I'm not saying it in a Which weird is way. Pacifism. I'm, but I'm just making a point. Like Ray could have heard those stories of the Jedi because she and knew then about. Suddenly, it. just gained force abilities. You don't just gain. It's always within you. That's the same thing with fucking Anakin in in the first step in the first and the episode. The guy brought up that he was also kind of a Mary Sue too. They all are. I don't know what a Mary Sue is. What? Basically, what a mean? character without a flaw. Oh. No, but see, and I don't believe. That's why I don't believe. I think Mary Sue is such a jaded term, though. Yeah, I don't know if I believe that many of those exist, to be honest. Right, like, I feel like... There are characters with very few or minor flaws, I guess. Right, like, I feel like a Mary... That's why I just don't believe Mary Sue is a proper term for anything. Because of the fact that, like, yes, they just look at, wow, he does all this heroic, bad, badass stuff. But at the same time, Superman has, like, a fucking rock. That's literally his weakness. And, yeah. like, he has no existential flaw unless you're Zack Snyder's <laughs> Superman and he won't save a children with fucking a bus of children in it. And his dad says, don't. Like, I'm uh, just making that point. See, Anakin has a flaw. He kills young ones. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times. Yeah, no, and, like, yeah. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to be counterproductive. He massacred that whole tribe. Oh, yeah, yeah. he killed them all. 
I'm I'm not trying to be counterproductive. I'm just, like, making that point. Like, I just don't understand, like... I don't know. Well, well, I'll show you the video. Okay. You'll get some... You'll get... Not hindsight. You'll get that perspective. I just don't care, man. I don't like Rey as a character. I also don't like her as a character. I don't like any of the Skywalkers. I think they're fucking lame. But not a Skywalker, you fuck. Well, I don't like any of them. I've never liked any of the... Fine. I never liked any of the protagonists in Star Wars because they were the least interesting of the characters and the side characters are always cooler. No, when you say protagonists... I don't like Luke Skywalker. I think Anakin's fucking lame and I don't really think Obi-Wan is that interesting. Ah, you suck. Obi-Wan's pretty cool. I don't think he's that cool. He is. He's fucking lame. Qui-Gon? I think Qui-Gon's okay. But he dies and then comes back as a ghost to teach... Teaches people that, like, yo, one day you're gonna fucking die and you're gonna end up just like me. Alright. How about Palpatine? No. No, fuck you. Unlimited power! I don't buy buy Palpatine to be that interesting either. I think he's just also... I I don't like space. He's in the lore. Yeah. Fuck, see, I don't care about the lore. It's just like how we talked about, like, how, like, most people aren't gonna know Dumbledore is gay unless they read J.K. Rowling's tweets. It's not really... I, I don't care I about don't the story, JK except for the story. Streets. What? So you don't care about the story, except for the story. I don't care about going in-depth well, into yeah. a fucking lore. I think there's a difference. Like, I can like... You can like Dragon Ball Z, but I'm not going to be like, Oh, but you need to, like, read Minus, and you need to read all of this. No, like, you can like... You can casually like a fucking series, and not read in-depth into it, like... I'm pretty positive no one, people like Mortal Kombat, but no one has read into the fucking lore as hard as I have. I'm pretty sure he's trying to get us to get into this lore. I tried, but I got very confused. And the same thing with Tekken. <laughs> Tekken is Street Fighter. A lot of people are like, I don't play the fighting games for stories. I'm like, I fucking love Street Fighter stories. It's so dumb. It's like, I know karate and I need to stop my evil self. Like, you know what? Sometimes people just like the like the like. I'm the dictator of like a small country, so Mortal. I'm just gonna start a fighting tournament and it's go around. It's actually not a small country. It's actually a military force. Well then, excuse me, a giant military force, and I will. That go doesn't around. sound as crazy as Mortal Kombat. He's a terror. Uh, yeah, it's more of a terrorist organization here. Shadowloo is not a. See, Shadowloo in the movies is a military country. I'm kidding. All right, it's dumb. What are we, where, where, where were we? Oh, I was. What wa- doing? I oh. watched uh, a bunch of Down the Rabbit Hole actually. And uh, it's a really interesting YouTube series. He breaks down uh, people's rise and falls. Like, I watched the one about Sonic Chew, and it was very fucking interesting. The first video I saw from that guy involved rats and how, like... Yep. The Nim, the Nim experiment. Yeah. It was really interesting. I didn't know why I came up on the recommendations, and I had a pretty good night in watching that after work. It was a, uh, so the one he's, it's about he the... built a city for Mouse mice. Utopia. And then he realized, like, he used it as, like, this is going to be the fall of man because he equated how the rats reacted in a group like this to how humanity could react. And it's very interesting. And it's also the inspiration for The Secret of Nim, the book series, about the smart rats. Or mice. Are they mice? Is that mice. a movie? It was a cartoon movie, yes. Yeah, I've seen the movie. I fucking hated that movie. Did it, did it scare you? A little bit, but mostly I just, it wasn't fun. Was, a kid. <laughs> was it just because of the existential thought process it goes into and have the deeper meanings of uh, no. consciousness and life? No, none of that. <laughs> also, I remembered what I watched, which was Split. Mm. So, yeah. How did you enjoy that? It was alright. Did you I watch Unbreakable actually, as well? Enjoy it. No, I didn't watch Unbreakable. You need to watch Unbreakable before you watch Glass. I told my roommates, and then they were like, nah, we don't need Unbreakable. Just moved on, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now we can't see that, Glenn! No, what the fuck's the goddamn bald guy's name? Bruce Willis. There you go. Yeah, he makes the appearance at the end. They're like, who's that? I was like, oh, it's the guy from the first fucking movie. <laughs> They're like, well, there's not a first movie, Eli. This, is, <laughs> yeah. this doesn't exist. I saw you like Split. Yeah, I did. I feel like the twist ending that M. Night Shyamalan had in that was kind of fucking lame. Twist? With the girl. And why he wasn't going to kill that girl. Oh, I didn't know that was supposed to be a twist. That's, that's the... Kind of mm-hmm. guessed that from, like, fucking two hours before that. From happened. the fucking flashbacks? Yeah. From the beginning, when she was just regarded as that weird kid. Yeah, like, also... And in the flashbacks, the weird uncle. Yeah, and then, like, that ending, spoiler, it splits been out for two years, you find out, like, she's been sexually assaulted by her uncle, and her uncle's her guardian. I'm like, oh, 
Wow. This is fun, I guess. Let's end this on a downer. Yeah. Have you seen Split? No. It's a good movie. Thanks for ruining it for me. Yep, well, fuck you. Solid. Yeah, well... Yeah, like, you'll, you'll forget. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen a lot of movies, so I just... I and you're not going to put time, that's the thing. Like, like everyone does this, though, they're like, I'll put it on my list, and they, like, will never watch it. Like, <laughs> that means nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it on my list, I'm like, well, I'll just explain to you what the fuck happened. Oh, I've also been watching Injustice Outsiders, and oh, man, is that a really good series. I don't think it's $7.99 a month good of a series, but that's why you can also watch Static Shock and stuff, so I've been watching a bunch of all those I mean, DC you also shows. get comics, don't you? And I've been reading, I've been reading actually Justice League Dark, because that was my favorite of the new 52 runs. I really do think, like, as much as, as much as we've had conversation on this, I think the DC Universe app, app is actually one of the most useful uh, applications yeah I really do like for seven ninety nine, you do get a vast amount of things and it's owned by that corporation like you get all their stuff and assets like I think that's cool but I I can understand why people don't like it so where does the between Marvel and DC where does the tie-ins that they had where they combined their heroes together fall in they don't they're kind of just in a weird limbo Dang. Like, cause there was a there was a time for like a year that DC and Marvel combined and made the Animal Game universe, and so they're just locked up in limbo. Like no one can use them. Oh, There's man. only one character technically, and his name's called like um, Divide or something like that, who is the catalyst between both worlds. Like he's that portal. Like he's the only one canonically that is owned by both Marvel and DC. It's a weird. It's a weird, weird read because like. Half of the half of the Marvel versus DC comics are owned by DC, and the other half are owned by Marvel. So you can never get the complete set, un- unless you go on the internet and get like the volume when it came out during the nineties. So cool. You know what else you can't get a complete set of because Netflix is canceling all their shows. Punisher season two. It's gonna cap off all the Netflix shit. Actually, no, it's Jessica Jones. It's gonna cap it off. Ha. Hmm. Gross. Punisher season two. I turns out they just canceled it. Didn't... I didn't really find the Punisher first season to be as in like I found it to be like a fun like violent fest. I just I don't know. I feel like it kind of fell through by the end of it in my mind. How? I just don't like the story. i have never. I wasn't a big fan. I've never been a, the hugest fan of the Punisher either. I... So like. I don't know. I'm just. I. The older I get, the l- less excessive violence I am. Like the more excessive violence there is, I just don't enjoy it as much. I feel like the reason for the villain in this season is pretty weak. I do as well. I think he I was think completely he looks justified. Fucking awful. Yeah. So like Jigsaw in the comics, like his face got messed fucked up. up. We discussed this a while back. Yeah, by like a glass machine, like just fucked his face up to like no repair. And at the end of season two, season one, he fucking slams his face yeah. numerous times on that glass. And then, like... It looks pretty fucked up. Yeah. In season two, he's like, oh, look, I got this little, like, <laughs> under-the-eye scar, and I'm so damaged. Got, got scars all got over, some but cheek, it's not He's that got some bad. cheek scars going on. Yeah, he's like, I'm so damaged, look at my mask. <laughs> I gotta make him feel how he made me feel, because I killed his family, and then he wanted revenge. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'll still watch it. I'll enjoy it. I mean, I there they need to make a context. I like did not watch. I've watched that trailer twice. That lady he is kissing in that trailer is not that girl he no. saved, right? Okay, no, no. that literally that is a different person. Perfect, Didn't like, entirely. Because I figured you'd get that vibe. I I'm sorry. I literally like I was like I don't think it is, but like I'm like she has darker hair. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to double check and make sure that I wasn't like. Is he doing this? Because that's a little weird. But like, okay. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's it looks it's like it's fictional a pu- characters and their actors. So it looks like a Punisher series, I guess. Like, not yeah. until you throw an M and M. I feel like that would be pretty cool. But like, what was that? Like, they had like an alternative rock song playing too. They're like, oh, this is my war, and it's like, yep, this is definitely a Punisher series. Oh, that was uh, 
Isn't that a Nirvana song for part of it? I think so. I think so. Yeah. A grunge song. Well, they put like that like mellow somber rock music behind the back of the Punisher, monologuing about like I'm the one who does the killing. I'm like, okay, yeah. You're afraid I'm gonna die. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> like literally, like my favorite line from the Punisher. Like every episode he does that, he does this violent growl. He's like, <laughs> just fucking killing people. I love it. Then we go to fire, and this fucking interested me. Like, Documentary about Fire Fest, that garbage festival that happened around Coachella that caused a lot of damages. Oh man, this stuff. This is why I watch like YouTube videos and stuff like that. Like this shit interests me, and like I don't know why it does. It just is this. This Do you one, enjoy the suffering of others. No, it's just like I like watching fuck ups. Those are pretty good, yeah. I like the rise and fall of fuck-ups, and I know that's a terrible thing to say, but I do. Like, I mean, when, was it really that, or was it more of a scam? I mean, people who bought tickets fucked up, like, that's... Yeah. I mean, I like watching fuck-ups, like, that, I just don't know why, like, that's why, like... I, that's why, I guess why, that's why I don't like making a murderer, to be honest with you. Because, like, if you know what happens, you know that he's... They're still putting him in prison and things like that. This is like, there was like a whole level of like incept- deception going on with people. So yeah, they're gonna velvet buzz saw and what the fuck. <laughs> it a, seems very pretentious. And it's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Gyllen. Whatever. With the same director from Nightcrawler with John Malkovich and apparently art is killing them. Is that the vibe I was the getting? The art is painted. possessed. The art was painted. painted. With blood. Yeah. I'd imagine it te- has, it does have some basis in reality because they're. I, I use the term reality very loosely I mean, and basis. I thought it, the word in just put all that in quotes. I thought it looked interesting. It's just not something that I'm gonna watch. It's because somebody has done videos. Well, they put them on YouTube, but basically he does have a painting that was made with someone's blood. And. He got it from, I don't remember, somebody's attic, and they just wanted to get rid of it. And he had strange things going on in his house ever since. So, they might have adapted the, some of the basis from that, I don't know. But that it looks kind of... interesting. It looks kind of pretentious and weird. But it might be good, I don't know. You're pretentious and weird, I'm kidding. That's I am weird. I don't know if I'm pretentious. I'm pretty pretentious. Pretentious piece of shit, Gil. See, if you say it, I'd be touched. Oh, shit. I'm not pretentious. Then we go to Little, which is the reverse of Big, because instead of her getting a a child becoming an adult, it's an adult becoming a child. And I'm I'm pretty sure it was very weird, that teacher scene. Yeah. But that's what makes it funny. Because it's like he doesn't want to be a statutory rapist. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Then he's not attracted to children like most normal people. Every time I think oh about that boy. scene, I think of that fucking Adam Sandler movie, That's My Boy. I fucking hate that movie with such with a passion. With Andy Samberg? Yeah. Yeah. I fucking hate that movie with the passion. I don't think I've seen that. The one where he fucks his teacher, and he has a child at a young age, and then like, he gr- Which, Adam Sandler okay, and see, no, I know I've seen that. But I don't think I've seen that movie all the way through then. I remember nothing else. Yeah, because there's like some weird... In- See, and they throw shit. They throw everything in that movie that is fucking dumb. They're like, incest. Statutory rape. Isn't it funny because she's a girl and she's a boy? <laughs> He's a celebrity now because he's fucking his teacher. Like, I'm just like, that's not a good thing in general. I think that's what I want to watch a documentary about. The fuck was the original thing? <laughs> oh, um, Little. <laughs> but speaking of which, I do want to watch a documentary of that. I don't know why it fascinates me, but the amount of news of teachers fucking their students that are ladies, no, it's just interesting. Then we're to Polar, which is an assassin movie with Matt Mickelson. And yeah, that's a good one. Anyone else think that's interesting? It's a lot of action. Mm. 
I think it's like oh, an action art film to me. I forgot what it, I could not tell what was going on. I was just confused. Sin City? Maybe? Guy with a fucking eye patch. Something about business doesn't kill you, retirement will. Yeah, you were here when I said how I want to have an eye patch before I'm 60. I was. I can help you with that goal. We yeah. all agreed to help him with that goal. <laughs> yeah, we have this whole idea of how I'm going to get my eye patch before I'm 60. Oh, I, was, I have a screwdriver in my car. Was... No, no, no. He wants gonna... to get it around his 40s. He's oh, very yeah. specific. I want to get it around my 40s. You want it to be a surprise? Or... No, he wants to have a big fight, and he he's afraid his wife will find out if he ever has one. Big so he wants us wife. to smoke screen the whole <laughs> incident, and he'll just say that... It, it's a long story or something really Yeah, dumb. like, we, just... we get in this fight, but, like, at the same time, like, I no longer smoke, but I'll take, <laughs> like, a cigarette off of a dead soldier and be like, I haven't had one of these for ages, and there's, like, for some reason a fucking fire next to me. I'm just gonna, like, smoke it, and be like... And then I'll go home to Brittany, and she'll be like, what the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like... <laughs> but walk away while I'm like, what song? Oh, yeah, Gangster's Paradise is playing in the background while I'm walking away from this fight. He got very intricate with this. Yeah, no, fucking, Brittany's yes. gonna be like, what the fuck? And I'm like, we need to go. And that's where I'm gonna train, that's when I'm gonna go to Japan and teach blind children karate and hire you guys as ninjas. So the blind children with no fear of ninjas. Yeah, I'm fucking think of some weird shit. We you do. would think of it. We, I just came up with a scenario where we all just well, get together and with someone sword. who had to wear an eye patch for a while, it's not as glorious as you'd think. <laughs> I have to you wear an eye patch for a while. I used to get staph infections on the inside of my eyelid. That sounds fucking painful. Yeah, not really painful. It was irritating. <laughs> what the fuck? How does that happen? Do you just not wash your eyes or something? I don't know if that's like a Do thing. Do you wash your eyes? What the <laughs> I fuck? I don't know. Regularly, when I'm in the shower. <laughs> you just you fucking, just fucking hold it open with the water. Wash my eyes. Right? Wash water in my eyes. Like, for real? Like, I don't... Yeah. I just, like, oh. let the shower hit my face and be like, mm, it's good. I, oh, I keep my eyes open, put water in I my eyes. I can't fucking do that. I can't. No. That's because I'm like, not five years old. I feel fucking uncomfortable putting my... Oh, dude, people with, like, eye shit freaks me out so yep. much, though. Like, like a close-up of an eye will make my eyes start watering? Yeah. People have eye-licking fetishes. Jesus fuck. God. Yep. You fuck. gotta be good with that one. God, <laughs> fuck you. Uh, <laughs> like, no offense, there's a fetish for everything, and I'm like, nah, I'm no longer going to judge people. At this point, I'm just making jokes because I know there's a fetish for everything. The internet is a like very dark kidney punched place. someone who said they wanted to lick my eye. God damn. What? He'd kidney punch someone. Oh, I thought you said he'd, someone he'd, fucking... He would. No, I would. Oh, I was like... No, this what? is northwest Iowa. No one's going to fucking say that in public. Get me fucked up. Then you'd lynch Star Wars Resistance. <laughs> That's a thing that came in. Yeah, mind. I don't know what this show's about, but it's a show. And Apparently they're racers defending the planet, but now the First Order's in here. So... Yeah, Somehow I don't... Somehow I missed that one. Uh, I just didn't care enough for it. Mm. The prime rib. Gil's revving up his motorcycle like usual. No, I Fucking just... Fucking kids. And their motorcycles. Jesus, Gil. So, so you guys got nothing on this? I got nothing on yeah. this. Uh, I, I don't know. It looked like it was explaining some early years of the First Order. I want to watch it now, but I like Star Wars. So. Yeah, of course you do. Fuck you. Fucking right I do. I'm kidding. IMDb, owned by Amazon, officially launches its new ad-supported streaming service. Um, dubbed Free Drive, Free Dive, the latest player in a crowded field. Apparently they're going to play movies, I think? I don't know. That's weird. I don't. Because Amazon owns IMDb, and they already use IMDb trivia on Amazon Prime Films, so I don't get why they need to do that. I don't... Okay. There are some streaming services I understand exist. Disney Plus coming out. I understand it because Disney's a bunch of assholes that want, like, their own money. Can you blame them when they own, like, 30% of the market? Right. No, I don't blame them at all. (laughs) I have no blaming for them. If, like, Warner Brothers wanted to do one... Sure, but like I would have, I would want them to team up with the DC one so Literally. they can have like everything. I think that's my problem though. With the DC, sorry, this is me gonna dive into why I don't like the DC streaming service real quick. They don't have all the, they have a majority of the DC owned comic series, like movies and shows. 
But they don't have all of them, which is weird. Because I think they're still contracted out to other streaming services, so yeah. they don't have them. Well, I mean, that's... But the one that they don't have that no one seems to have is Beware the Batman, and it was an animated series that came out in 2012. It is such an interesting and fun series. Oh, yeah, that one they showed late at night. Yeah, where they had anarchy and stuff. Like, it's a real... They don't that have it. 3D one. Yeah, they have the Green Lantern animated series with the same is 3D... It... Because it's, like, darker? Than no, they shouldn't, though, because the new Young Justice, they straight up fucking kill an assassin. There's blood. Oh. Yeah. Robin kills a guy. There's blood and sex. And rock and roll. And, oh. like... Yeah, you, <laughs> you see, You see, like, there's a scene where, like, they burn... A lady gets burned to death, and, like, it's to her skull. Like, it's a really, like... Young Is that Justice... Lady Raven's mom? No. That, it's a, my interest. Young Justice season three is fucking awesome. Like so far, I think it is one of it is the best in this series because it no longer has restraints of like it's a kids show. It's like nah, we're going like full a hundred percent what we wanted, and like I think people are dying today. The one thing okay, so the one thing I don't like about Young Justice Arch. is their time. Their time skips are so fucking weird for like the villains plotting shit. Like, it took the villains five years to, like, plot this plan for Apocalypse. Spoilers for season two, sorry, guys. Five years for this, like, big villain. And then, like, they put having, like, season three starts with another two-year gap. And I'm just like, wow, there's a lot of gapping in, like, these villains' plans. <laughs> young to, like... Justice isn't young anymore. They're not! They're fucking adults! <laughs> But that's why they have the new Young Justice. They don't, the, like, they're really focusing, they do and they don't at the same time. They're like, focusing on the old, the legacy characters. Yeah, they're focusing on, like, it's, Superboy. It's Superboy Nightwing. and Nightwing and Huntress, which is what formerly Artemis. And it, it's fun, I think it's a really fun series, like, they introduce, like... Are they going on a road trip? No, they're, they're bringing, like, essentially, they're, Young Ju this is essentially just a spinoff to The Outsiders, because the team that they have formed in the newer Young Justice team that that uh, one of the original members is commanding is essentially the Teen Titans. Then the older team is the Young Justice team. And then Robin is forming a team that is based off of the DC comic heroes, The Outsiders. Because it has Black Lightning. Right now it has Black Lightning, Geoforce, Halo. And uh, Katana is going to be in it. It's, really, it's a really interesting series. So, what I'm saying is, watch Young Justice. Plans are moving ahead to a sequel of Emily Blunt-led musical fantasy, Mary Poppins Returns, says the film director. And I'm just like, cool. I don't give a shit. I like Mary Poppins. No thanks. It's a wholesome movie. No thanks. Why the fuck do you not like happiness and joy, Eli? I like happiness and joy. He just doesn't like Mary Poppins. But I like blood, metal, and fire more. Apparently, uh, the Academy is reportedly trying okay, to... That's what they had in the next yeah, one. Just Mary Poppins is fucking anarchist now. Yeah. Um, did you hear about this whole, like, I just, I just don't think Kevin's, Kevin Hart should, should have backed down on the whole, like, so people, like, we really need to stop digging at people's old tweets, because someone, people change over ten years. I'm just, again, I'm, I'm a big... I have a Twitter account. I'm a well, yeah. Neat, like I don't have a Twitter. Soon I'll account. be Hollywood's last person. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna call you like Eli. Do you want to host the Oscars? It's Wait, really hard on. to track you down without a Twitter account. Hold on, we heard your podcast though. Um, <laughs> do you still really believe this stuff? Be like, ah, that wasn't me. Can't prove it. <laughs> no face. But like, no, like for me, I'm just like so. The Oscars are like, we're gonna try to get all the Avengers together for the to host the Oscars. I'm like. I'm like a creaking door. Award Oscars to themselves. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan. So, Illuminations, 2018 animated remake of The Grinch, tops $500 million, marks a worldwide surpassing Home Alone as the Wait, highest. So, what did Kevin Hart tweet? He wrote some really, really like gay slur stuff. It's like, remember when Soldier Boy last last week called people like, mm -hmm. you know, the, that word? Is that like, word that you don't want to say for whatever reason? I don't like saying it. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not a word I like to use in my vocabulary. You know what they call a bundle of sticks, though? I'm not doing this, man. I'm just saying. I know, but that's not what it's used for anymore, though. I know. No one uses that for a bundle. Like, I hate that shit where they're like, well, they used it like this. I'm like, but you're not using that as that term. 
I would if I ever had a bundle of sticks. Well, that's great. Still, st- <laughs> so Home Alone is no longer the highest, highest, highest rating uh, holiday movie. But like, I kind of thought Elf was this, but I guess it's not. And like, I don't know. Wait, what is? Home. The Grinch is the highest. Uh, the new one? Yeah. Ah. The older one is better, and then the older, older one is the best. Dude, I don't like that live-action Grinch movie. Jim Carrey is the best! That Jim Carrey movie is fucking awful. How is it awful? It's not a good movie. How? Is this one a good movie? I have not seen it. It's an Illuminations movie now. You know it's not a good movie. My partner enjoyed it, but she's also very easily amused, so I don't trust her opinions. I will say that it's a kid's movie. Yeah, exactly. It's a child's movie, and my daughter liked it, so I'm like, okay. There you go. Yeah. But the, the Jim Carrey's Grinch is a, a, movie, a Christmas movie for both kids and adults. I think that movie is so fucking boring. It's so funny. It's not. Yes, it is. You really? No sense of humor. Oh, my, it's not fuck? fucking good. Why do you hate happiness, Ken? <laughs> okay. Use them all not against me, Eli. I get it, but you're wrong. No, uh, I'm not. I'm always right. You should know this. I feel like no. I, I'm more I, with him on this one. I don't. I don't like. I don't see. Like the humanization of the Grinch was like low. I admit it looks weird. I just don't like I'll it. Give you that. It's just. It's just. I don't. I don't. I feel like. I like the 1960s cartoon. Like that's the best out of all of them. Not even much care for that. I'll be the, honest. The most accurate of the books it is the most enjoyable one and like god I just love that animation just the the way they like animate his malice is just mm, love it Stellan Skarsgård is gonna play the villain in the Dune movie do you ever read the Dune books no it's like a science fiction high fantasy alright D-U-N-E or D-O-O-M D-U-N-E okay Dune, Dune. Sand Dune yes yeah, yeah. cause they live on a, like a fucking planet no, I, I hear it referenced all the time, and apparently I need to, because, yeah, it's... It seems like it's up your alley, that's why I asked you. No. Didn't they already make a movie about that? They Dune? did, they have made two. Yeah, I thought so. Um, fucking Sting was in one of them. The, the, the singer. The elderly <laughs> singer? Yeah, well, this was made in the 70s. Yeah, the first Doom movie was oh, like... these books! Fucking old! Jesus. Yeah. So, Track them down at my level. And Dave letter. Batista is also going to be in the Dune movie as an enforcer. Ooh, surprise. I, okay, yeah. So this is actually super interesting. The Death Note movie is, is being like, wow, I never thought I'd have to bring up fucking Death Note again, but here I am. I'll get ready for more Death Note. Two years later. Did I ever mention that I've seen that? And uh... Yeah, we. I think we... Did you like that? No, not really. Okay, good. I saw the anime, too. Did you like the anime? No, not really. Did you like the like first like half of the anime before Elle died? Yeah, when okay. Elle was there, it was feel like pretty you, good. Yeah, it kind of just drops the ball after Elle dies, and it gets into this yeah. weird melodrama about, Fumbled like... Fumbled around. Yeah, it kind of does, and then, like, it's fucking... As soon as he the, started involving other people, I was like, ah, he's gonna die. And the <laughs> children of Elle just really annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah. They all kind of sucked. Yeah. They were all not good. And then, like, N- 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 Nello, Nier? Yeah. It was like, just fucking L Light. Yeah. But instead of candy, he played with toys. Yeah. Just, mm, I don't know. I don't know. My, my main problem with it was they, they do a lot of assumptions. Which, don't get me wrong, they're playing the odds and stuff. Mm-hmm. But if... If you ever, if one of the sides had just been like, fuck it, I'm gonna do something completely random, they would have just won outright, probably. <laughs> so, you were wrong the whole time! What they, what uh, Death Note did though, is they used footage from a real 2010 train crash in Belgium without seeking the proper permission. Oh, that's bad. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yeah, so. Good on you. No, too. Yeah. <laughs> So, Star Trek Four has been cancelled. Yep. Indefinitely. I'm actually sad. I actually really like the Kelvin Star Trek series, so that's this alternate timeline. Coming from the man who, not like 20 minutes ago, was like, I don't watch the Star Trek Wars. Wars. 
I like those series. I think they're a fun, fun ride. But I don't watch the movies. I don't really much like Star Wars, I don't, though. I don't enjoy Star Trek, so... I, I, I think Star Trek's a little bit more interesting, but I also like, like, the... I don't enjoy the media. I enjoy reading about it. I, I enjoy the... Po- I, I don't know. I like I like the politics in Star Wars. I think it's a lot more interesting than Star Wars. I think so. Star I, Trek? Yeah. You said Star Wars both times. I like Star... <laughs> I like the politics in Star Trek. I don't like the politics in Star Wars. Because in the politics in Star Wars are very, like... George Lucas is like, oh, see, it's an, anal- an analogy yeah. to the fall of a great empire. Uh, you see that, guys? I can get you with that. I'm smart. <laughs> I've read a history book. Sony's proposed crossover for a Men in Black 21 Jump Street franchise is now officially dead. I'm fucking sad about this one, because I kind of would have wanted to see 21 Jump in Black. That's I kid don't know a good combination of those words. <laughs> I don't know one that Men in doesn't end up sounding racist. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty one in black. Jump Street Men. <laughs> Did you ever watch the Twenty One Jump Street movies, Gil? I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the Twenty Two Jump Street. Did you ever watch the Jump Street I've movies? Seen the first one. Though. Did you like the first one? I liked the first one. Did you like the fun. first one? My favorite part was how they shot all those explosive things and none of them exploded and they shot the driving chicken coop and that thing just blew up like a crisp Yeah. chicken for days. Actually, my favorite, still favorite scene is where he's fucking high off of the thing and does slam poetry. Alright, I might have fucked up. I think I saw the second one, not the first one. Where they go to college? Yeah. 22 Jump Street. Really? (laughs) Did you fucking collect anything that was going on? (laughs) Because <laughs> I was like, I remember the end of the movie, and they're talking about how it's just going to keep going up. Like, 23 Jump Street, 24, and it's just dumb. <laughs> just stupid little after. So, okay, Bird Box was viewed by nearly 26 million U.S. subscribers in its first week. And I was not one of them. I also was not one of them. I have uh, still not seen this fucking movie, and I am on a streak. I don't know if I watched it in its first week, so. I don't think you did. My roommates might have. Because it came out December 22nd. No, fuck no. no you, I think you watched it two weeks afterwards. Cause like, yeah. Uh, so, the Bird Box Challenge led to a terrible car accident in Ohio. Shocker. Good news. People need to... Good, the, well, no, not good for yeah, I the know. other receiving end of this accident. And then the police are like, guys, please don't do this. It's just like, what the fuck? Why are people doing this? Because they're that stupid. That was the worst part of the movie, too. What? Where they were driving based on the GPS. Wait, they... Uh, it was like, oh, uh, I don't want to fuck you. Let's see. I'm, fu- I'm not going to fucking watch this movie. Apparently, they, How spoilers. are you debating whether that was an okay. actual thing in oh. a movie called Bird Box where they're blindfolded? Why did they think they were, like... I thought it was just supposed to be them, like, literally, like, fucking walking around. And the trailer made it look like it was a post-apocalyptic future. And Sandra Bullock is like, we need to go, we need to hurry, and shit like that. And, like, the only fucking thing you see in the trailer is they're on a boat, so I thought it was going to be, like, her on a boat with these two kids. This movie, for, like, the first three quarters of it, is back and forth between the beginning of the, like, epidemic happening, and then where Sandra Bullock is trying to get her children, like, they're doing a trip. That sounds... Fucking awful. It was a little confusing at first. And yeah. Then I sort of latched on to what was happening. I was like, oh, okay, it makes sense. I'm not a big fan of the continuous it time. It does stage. allow you to just guess the ending like a solid hour before it happens, along with some other shit. So, spoilers, I know what happens because I was just like, they're like, I don't want to, my co like, I don't want to ruin for a moment. I'm going to watch this fucking movie. That ending sounds fucking dumb. I guessed it. <laughs> So. Right, no, I was like, I was like, oh, if they can't see, are they gonna like hang out <laughs> yeah. with blind people? And they're like, well, it's a blind school they're living at. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, my roommate had already watched it, and I was like, so they're just gonna, they can't like look with their eyes, or they're just gonna have to like fucking blind themselves, go to blind people school. Is at the end of the movie, they just go to blind people and learn how to be blind. <laughs> he was like, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I was like, all right. I'm just like. I'm just like, I'm sorry, anyone who is like listening to a podcast that has not seen Bird Box and is really excited. You've had like a month. 
almost yeah. come up. But fucking A, when my, I was like, and I was like, you can spoil it for me. Do they, like, go blind and go to, like, or are blind people the only ones immune? They're like, well, yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, this doesn't affect their retinas? Like, like, and I was like, is this monster magic or science? He's just, they're like, it's like magic. It's magic. I'm it's like, some demon shit. Just, there, there's a man who sort of hypothesizes what it is, but they never confirm it technically. What's the hypothesis? Is it that just is like, just demons. He, he just talks about how in a lot of cultures, basically, it's, it's just demons. like the same thing. And then he's like, this is the end of the world, motherfuckers. And then he dies in the dumbest way possible. Also, I don't understand how some people just, like, go mad and commit suicide, or, like, go mad and become evil. If you're crazy, you go evil. I feel like that's kind of also just, like, a reflection on, like, I don't know what they're trying to say about mental health, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why that one is, I mean, it sort I feel of like, added a little interesting thing, but I don't get it. I guess, I guess, like, <laughs> I feel like that's just a weird thing to be like, see, we're doing this movie about blindness and how it's hard to, like overcome and go through it but like we're gonna make something else about another disability like if you're in a wheelchair you can walk for like 10 seconds but then you'll die i don't know if it was quite like that i know but you know they never explained why insane people don't get But like yeah criminals people who have been incarcerated they're not insane or crazy like because some do the criminals get they become more malice I didn't know it was criminals. They mentioned a mental institute. Yeah, they met, They said the mental institute... Someone told me, like, incarcerated people also, like, aren't really affected by this demon. So I was just like, uh, I don't know. It's a very I don't remember demon. that, to be honest. Oh, that's fine. It's just like... I guess if you want to explain why you like Bird Box, make a YouTube essay, and I'll probably watch it, because that's, that's how I get my fucking... But to Not follow thanks. up, leave your questions in the form of a YouTube, YouTube essay. <laughs> but to follow up, don't be stupid. Don't put on a blindfold if you're doing no, something man. that involves other people's lives. Do it. No, don't even put on a blindfold and just walk around. That's retarded. Yeah. That's dumb. It's dumb shit. So, Mattel and Warner Brothers officially announced the Blindfold Tide Pod Challenge. We're, we're bringing okay. two stupid things together. I'm going to bring this up. Like, I think blindfold. we have to... Tide pod covered in cinnamon challenge. <laughs> no, we had, I think we had, we, you and I had this conversation today. I'm just like, I feel like, like people who make me, like people who make conservative memes pick like the stupidest shit that like they saw like maybe two or three teens doing and just be like, see, this is why you can't trust the youth to vote because they're eating Tide Pods and shit. I'm like, I feel like in a general... You can't trust the old people to vote because they're just going to pick the same bad people that are already in power. But you know what I mean, though? I feel like the ge- their general consensus is like, because a handful of kids were doing dumb shit, that means all of the kids are doing dumb shit. A lot of kids are doing some dumb stuff. No, no, I don't know any old people that are conservatives somehow. Really? Yeah. That's My weird. grandparents are very liberal. Wow, that is, like, not to be I told weird. you my great-grandma was telling me how she hates Trump. I know. She didn't just, fucking vote for him. Yeah, my, I mean, my grandma's liberal as fuck, too, but, like, <laughs> I have very conservative aunts and uncles, and I'm just, like, I just never talk politics with them, and they never talk politics with me, because they just know. I'm just, like, I'm not for this. I'm here for my cousin's wedding not to talk about politics. But there's going to make a Barbie movie with Margot Robbie instead of Amy Schumer. Eh. Okay. I kind of wish they would have had that Amy Schumer bar- Barbie movie because I thought that would be interestingly weird. <laughs> nah, it sounds dumb. It still sounds dumb, but now it's got Margot Robbie. Venom 2 is happening with Carnage. Well, Yay. we all figured that. Yeah. I already knew that. <laughs> no, they're like actually going through with it now. They're like, oh, it's we're starting the script. I'm like, great. Well, okay, I guess. But yeah, they ordered two sequels, didn't they? Like yep. immediately? Yep. Mm-hmm. So. Before the movie... Even one in the theaters. Uh, Will Smith confirms the title for Bad Boys Three is Bad Boys for Life. Is filming is getting is filming, filming underway, and I'm really excited. I really like the Bad Boys movies. It's the only Michael Bay movie I enjoy. Well, we're gonna watch. We're gonna sit and watch Bad Boys One and Two because 
It's good. And I feel like Will Smith missed out and they should have not called. So it's Bad Boys for Life and the three is an E. And it makes me mad because they should have waited and made a fourth movie and had Bad Boys for Life. Oh. No. Ah, so mad. I so, mean, at least this means it's a trilogy and it ends here. So Fox has canceled some sad things, so I don't think we're going to have Ryan Reynolds Deadpool for very long. Because they just canceled the X-Force movie, they canceled the Gambit movie, and they canceled the Doctor Doom movie. Basically, all the future Marvel movie product projects they were going to have, next. So, meh. I don't like Gambit. I don't give a fuck about most of the X-Men, so. Yeah. But, Do you but, not care for the French? He's Cajun. Yeah, that's a little different, for one. But He's Creel. He's also a fucking weirdo, and he looks weird, so... Do you not like the fucking, like, little, like, no. little mask he has? It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. Yeah. It's just the mask and a trench coat. That's all you really need. And then you just walk around with playing cards. Over. And a unitard and, like... And then a collapsible bow dumb. staff. And then talk like Mademoiselle. C'est la vie. Yeah. And then you just beat people. Talk like someone broke then your fucking jaw. Cards. Hey there, how do you do there? Pretty much. <laughs> Y'all wanna read my card down there, Vanna? <laughs> I'm Creel. We hear that we gonna eat crawdads and gators. God. Continue. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's kind of sad, I guess. I'm really not sad about this. Like, I really just, like... And as for Deadpool, it's like, I'm kind of sad. But... I... Fuck, dude, like... I think they'll they'll bring the X Men back in some way. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I want to just be honest with the Deadpool thing. I feel like I'm gonna be super hipster about Deadpool. I feel like once Deadpool one came out, everyone just fucking just jumped on the the Deadpool. Deadpool's too mainstream, guys. It's not that. I will totally admit that that's how I feel. Like I will get that, but like I told you this story when that fucking movie came out and Jay and I would go to cons. Everyone was fucking either Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, or fucking Deadpool. And they were all like, I'm gonna speak in the fourth wall, ha ha ha, let me take a picture and make a funny, funny quip. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face, please. Uh, five of them. Five of them were like, oh, Ryu, yeah, we bought each other Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I'm like, I just want to come to this con. I just want to fucking meet Jason Momoa, and I just want to go home. I don't need this negativity in my life. You went to see Jason Momoa. That's pretty negative. I like him. He seems like a cool guy. He's a solid Iowan guy. He's literally, like, he's literally a, he's literally an Iowan, and he's fucking cool. He always loves, like, he loves Iowa, so, like, fucking right. Cool. Thanks, Jason Momoa. Apparently, Morbius the Living Vampire Project is still happening, and it started. It's gonna wrap up in May. Yay! I'm not excited. <laughs> Me and Gil seem to be indifferent. Fucking Jared Leto. You just don't like Jared Leto. I don't. Like I Jared don't Leto. like Jared Leto. Dude, that's I, not to say the movie won't be good. He could do good things. Yeah. I, do, I don't think it'll be good. My legit problem with Jared Leto again. Jared Leto was only in Suicide Squad for five fucking minutes. That's because they cut out the rest of what oh, he did. Yeah, no, he no, was... no. But, like, even even with the uncut thing, it was just an extra, like, couple minutes. Like, for real. That's what they said. They even did it. They're like, my thing is that he shouldn't have been in there at all. Well, my thing is that, like, <laughs> he does all this weird shit for, like, 10, 15 minutes of, like, screen time. It's just, like, that's not cool. Like... Sending used condoms to your, like, because the Joker would do that. I don't <laughs> think you would. I don't think you would. <laughs> like, sending doesn't people seem, used condoms. Doesn't seem like, like a Joker type No. Thing. <laughs> Fucking, God. So, the guy who directed Vice, that new Dick Cheney movie, wants to direct a Silver Surfer movie. And I'm kind of, like, not for it, because the Silver Surfer is a semi-serious character. <sighs> And I saw Vice, and it's really more like a political satire of Dick Cheney than anything else. Well, I mean, has, Dick Cheney is a pretty er, political satire of Dick Disney Cheney. Disney has Silver Surfer now, right? Yeah, technically they will. More or less. Mm -hmm. I don't really see that happening for a while. I do. 
I see it happening. They would need Fantastic Four first to feel like they're bringing they're the weird... bringing in a lot of Fantastic. There's a lot in our video game news that's happening with Fantastic Four. I don't think it'll happen until after Infinity Wars. Because it's if you almost bring... done, yeah. So like, I know, but I'm just saying you, to bring in the Silver Surfer, you kind of need Galactus, and I kind of wondered if that's where they were gonna go after Thanos. I feel like that's the only way you can do it, unless you go with the. There's living. others. I feel like I don't know. You could like fight the Living Tribunal, I guess. Like that'd be dope as shit. Hardcore reboot. They're not gonna Stretch. hardcore reboot it. I don't think they'd hardcore reboot it, but they could do some sort of smashing together. Of They're doing well. Essentially, universes. after after Far From Home is gonna be the soft boot of the the new Marvel generation. The fuck is Far From Home? The Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man movie. Spider-Man movie. Oh. That's the kickoff to like this is the new this is like it's just like it's like when Marvel went from this to the heroic age it went from like Civil War to Dark Reign to the heroic age this is their heroic age where like they're bringing in younger yeah pre they're bringing people in, who aren't too big for them now and don't want the fuck out they yeah been in this for a decade yeah. <laughs> So Captain Marvel ticket sales for the first day are already amongst the best of any NCU, right behind Infinity War and Black Panther. Yay. Really? When the fuck does that come out? Uh, April, March. Actually, fucking, I have fucking Shazam and Captain Marvel mist, mixed up. The same thing. Captain Marvel comes out Mar- <laughs> comes out March. Shazam comes out in April. <clears throat> Eh, I'll probably see it. I'm that is again just uh, baffles me that they're both fucking two Captain Marvel <laughs> movies are coming out in one year, and I just make two happy. Kree movies. I don't know if they're coming out in the same year. I don't know when the X Men ones come out. They're not Kree. You mean Scroll? Scroll. I knew what that meant. Fuck you. Are they Scroll? I think they're rumored, but like I thought they were a different thing. I don't know. Maybe, and what? Who knows? I didn't think it was Scroll. For Dark Phoenix. I thought they were gonna go with the bird people. Dude, there's some fucking weird aliens. Like, there's some... Yeah, I mean, aliens are weird. That's mm-hmm. the point. I don't know. So, apparently James Gunn was a little bit involved in Captain Marvel because, like, they're using some of the characters that were in Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's not gonna, like, prelude the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, Ronan the Accuser is coming back, and then, like, Dijon Huntsman's character... The guy who goes, who? When, like, Star Wars Star- is trying to explain to him who he is. And then He's it, the only African-American So, Korean. yeah, the guard, basically, that yeah. gets his ass beat. Yes. Like, gets his, like, killed. Yeah. Alright. Yep. I mean, I'm fine with that. So, Kevin Feige is excited to bring X-Men and Fast X for to the MCU, but he isn't like gonna bring back he's like I'm not gonna focus on Wolverine cause I feel like that seri- the Fox series focused too much on him which That's I'm like fair. yeah you got a point there but like I've said this numerous times like Hugh Jackman fucking especially now that they don't have Hugh Jackman yeah he went fucking ham in his later years as Wolverine like I remember when I was lifting hardcore like maybe I could like get built like Wolverine and I read what he had to do he had to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning so his body could burn enough calories for the day. And he had to eat, like, a fucking whole two breasts of chicken. And, like, then go back to bed so his body... I was like, that sounds fucking miserable to keep up that physique. Like, to keep up that constant, like, just... Ugh. Yeah, I can't... There's, yeah. There's no way. Like, no. Yeah. So... The relationship between Diana and Steve Trevor will be changed in the Wonder Woman 1984 movie. Yay! When he dies. Apparently he's still alive, I guess. <laughs> the what or what now? At the age of, like, 80. Steve Trevor and Diane. Diana are going to have a different relationship. They're they're uh, adapting Superman Red Sun into an animated movie, and it makes me excited because I really enjoyed that animated movie. 10 out of 10. So, this is a weird one. Aquaman's big kiss scene between Arthur Carey and Mera are uh, being being cut in Saudi Arabia and Indonesia because their laws prohibit, like, long displays of affection. Yeah. How many movies do they... Oh, wait, no. Didn't they just get movies back? Yeah. <laughs> Talking about Saudi Arabia? 
<laughs> yeah, the first movie was fucking, um, the Emoji Movie. Oh, nothing oh, more. That's it. Turn it back off. You don't want them. It's like, mm, yeah, that's right. Let's, no. Nah. Somebody was like, but just wait for Aquaman. And they were like, ah. So Jordan Peele's yes. making an Amazon TV show, The Haunt About Nazi Hunters, and Al Pacino's going to be in there as a, like, a older Nazi hunter who's experienced. And I'm, like, kind of excited for this. Yeah, Al Pacino. It does a really renowned dumbass. Scarface, yeah. Exclusive. F is for family. Justin Long says, Bill Bird let animated comedy is definitely coming back for a fourth season. I really like this show, and I'm kind of glad it is. Yeah, it's a solid series. What? F is for family. Oh, yeah, I love that fucking show. I love Bill Burr. Coming for a fourth season. Yeah, good. So, there's apparently... They're apparently going to try to reboot Big Bang Theory in 2020. Uh, of course they are. I fucking hate that show. Uh, why? Because some They of lost people. Jim Parsons and now everybody's mad. And Jim Parsons. I understand why he wants the to leave. The guy who was... Uh, Sheldon. Sheldon Cooper. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, Spock. Spock covers paper. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. Fuck get it right. right. I don't fucking care. The show's dumb. But like... I kind of like it. Fuck you. But no. I just like the culture in general. Yeah, but see, that's why I don't like it because like, I get it. It's it's like the lowest bar of the culture most. Exactly, of the time. and it's just kind of like people are laughing at it because they think being a geek is funny and not like. I, that's the first few seasons though. I feel like the first few seasons are like there's like, oh, because you read comic books and stuff. That's fucking funny. Yeah, kind of, but they also are really nerdy in their jobs their in every aspect of their lives yes i get that it's no, not I... like you and me where it's like yeah comic books and then we go lift and it's like oh it's not quite uh what one pictures of a nerd <laughs> uh, yeah i could not talk about nerdy shit in high school so. however they did show they do show regularly at the show what they do shower regularly in the show <laughs> That's fucking mean, Gil. Nerd shower. Not the I don't. typical description <laughs> of a nerd, no. Is that really a typical description of a nerd? Yeah, that don't shower? Basement games, dwelling. Just, yeah. People you're that in don't shower. Your mom's shower. basement too much. You can't shower. Do you remember when the ideal nerd was like chubby, watched the Matrix, and we had a leather trench coat and it was beard. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and had maybe a fedora. A uh, fucking. Now it's just a hipster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The fact that you're not wrong is a little scary. Yeah, that is really fucked up the more I think about I that. They took back the trail beat. Good job, hipsters. Jesus Christ. Unless, but you have to be like kind of skinny to wear the trail beat, or they think you're a nerd. Or you, they think you're a m'lady. Anyway. God. <laughs> Stop rebooting Big Bang. Well, I understand more. why Jim Parson left, because he's like, I want to pursue other things than just that's Chumped also fair, and that show's been going on for quite some time. Nine years. Okay, I didn't remember. So Nine fucking long-ass years. Point is, I'm fine with it ending. I'm fine with things ending after a fifth season. I really am. It depends on what it is. It's a little different because it's a sitcom. So I can have those go on forever, I really don't care. I'm fine with, like, but then you have something like Breaking Bad where it's like, yeah, if it had gone on any longer... They would have had to like fight cyborgs and yeah, shit. Yeah, that would have been terrible. Like meth cyborgs. He would have been, it would have been Walter White versus the fucking US government. Yeah. He'd be fucking like shooting down F-16s with like a rock and They would have stick. had to bring back the guy he blew up as a cyborg bent on killing him. <laughs> okay. Was, brought back by the government so now he owes them a life debt. Sony is reportedly considering developing multiple TV shows based on characters from the animated Smash Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. And I'd be really fucking down for an anime looking like maybe Penny Parker or a really like Looney Tunes maybe 15 minute short series. Of like Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham. But I wouldn't mind seeing a Penny Parker universe just because like she is very anime aesthetic. And just, like, I want to see her version of Green Goblin, and, like, maybe it would look like an Ava or something like that. I feel like we just need more Nick Cage in our lives. See, you know what? I feel like he he needs his own movie. Like, I wouldn't mind a hard-boiled Spider-Man noir, like, 
He like hunts Nazis. Yeah, he punches Nazis. <laughs> it's the best thing. But like, I think I really do. I want a Penny Park. I want a pe- I want a Penny Parker Spider like anime series, and I want her to like face the anime like semi anime like mecha equivalents to like her villains in that universe. Because I would think that would be super interesting. Because it's like, how can you incorporate like Green Goblin? How could you incorporate like? Doc Ock and things like that. Like I would. They already have Robot. He what? has his glider and Doc Ock has the legs. No, be like, but their design and character design. Like, what could they look like? I think that'd be interesting. I mean, they already but started with Scorpion pretty solid. But I don't know. I still need to watch it. It's a good movie. I'm not gonna say it's great because I don't want to like overhype you, but I think it's a good movie, and I think you will actually really enjoy it. I think I'll probably. I think you will really enjoy it. I think you will really enjoy it. I think you will really... (laughs) The only thing I do not think you will enjoy is the ending. Well, man, now I want to watch it. Is the secret (laughs) ending. It's really good until the The after credits scene. The after credits scene. I do not think you will enjoy it because I know the type of person you are. I think you already possibly told me. I did not. But I know you as a person and I know... Do not think you might like it. I don't think you'll like it. Yeah, no, whatever. <sighs> so, former House of Car... You know what? I'm going to start with this one. Netflix orders an animated anthology series of shorts aimed at adults produced by the guy who directed fucking Deadpool and David Fincher called Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, I saw that. It's fucking weird. Well, well because it's David Fincher and I just... He makes some weird shit. He, he directed the girl with the dragon tattoo. That is weird, yeah. It's very... Have you... Maybe. Did you watch it? Mm, I've seen bits and pieces very of it in a different language. Oh, you watched the original. I don't fucking know. There's two. I walked into my friend's house. His mom was watching that in a different language, and I watched it for like half an hour. Yep, you watched the watch fuck the was happening. With new <laughs> so yeah, that's happening. But we're going to end on this before we get into our questions. Former House of Cards star Kevin Spacey pleads not guilty to charges of sexual assault in an incident that allegedly occurred in July 2016. Holy fuck, that's been a while. Yes, it has. <laughs> Goddamn Kevin Spacey's. Are we not going to talk about how uh, someone's deciding to be gay for a month? No, I feel like I don't need to, I don't need to spread that Spacey. fucking negativity of love, like... All right, that's fair. Moving on. Questions. I, I do. I don't. I don't. That man's a real Kevin Spacey. That's all I have. Yes, to say. He hear is. that. Now let's but, get on to the question. All right. So, Lloyd. Wait, yeah, we are talking about a man pretending to be gay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That is very Kevin Spacey. That is very Kevin. Lloyd. Lloyd says, "Hey guys, I'm from Texas, and I'm sorry, Lloyd. And I was wondering if you guys were, <laughs> like going if you guys sleep. got superpowers." Who do you think would be a villain and who do you think would be a hero? So we're not supposed to say if we would be heroes oh, or villains. Out of the, the three of us? Yes. Or however many. Kian would get drunk with power. I'm calling it right now. All right. I'd be an anti hero for sure. Yeah, I see that very much. <laughs> I would definitely not hold myself to not killing people. But I, I, feel I, like I wouldn't you would be able to. be a villain, though. No, no I, I wouldn't be like... able to bring myself to do evil I things. I feel like you'd be an accidental villain, though. That, no, he'd be an anti hero. <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like <laughs> Gil would be vilified because he's both Latino and has superpowers. <laughs> he would be, be a vilified. <laughs> voluntary <laughs> villain. <laughs> he'd be doing good things. <laughs> like, and then, like. Publicly, so he's Spider Man. Yeah. No, but like I feel like like if you have like my... lightning powers and you sneeze and like it just accidentally kills someone, everyone's like, "Look at him! He fucking murdered him!" How funny is that? No, be? every time, every time a lightning bolt like strikes someone, they're like, "It was him! It was Gil!" It's like it's, oh, it's a thunderstorm, guys. <laughs> I was in, the, I was all the way up in I was like, out of state. Canada. Oh man, yeah, no, I don't think. I don't think I'd become drunk with power. I could think. very easily see I you becoming drunk with power. I do not think I would become drunk with power. I think that I like. I'm one of those people like I wouldn't want to be a hero or. A I'm villain. one of those people that would become drunk with power <laughs> and become a villain. <laughs> you can be drunk with power and not be a villain. Yeah, but I still see him going down a dark path. Wow! What the fuck? 
I have like I have like a family family. I don't think they like villains have families. Are you saying they can't? You're telling me I was gonna be a villain. I have a family family. You know that fucking you know what I mean, like that's horrible. What are you you stereotyping this innocent man? Oh wait, is it because I'm white? Yeah. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Um Alright. And I don't think any of us would be actually evil. Villains. villains. Like you'd be more on the the dry witted one. Yeah. Who thinks he's funny. Nah, probably. I think Keen would just strive to be as much like uh, Shazam as he could. (laughs) (laughs) I don't. If I had like I've made this point. It's just like the zombie apocalypse. If the zombie apocalypse happens, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna fucking live through that. If I get superpowers, I don't want anyone to fucking know. Because A, I don't want the government in my business. I don't it depends want... what my superpowers are. Like, yeah. If I had to choose a superpower, I'm still going with lightning manipulation because I think that is like the fucking kick ass like superpower. Because like you can't tell because you can't see like like you can make like lightning you can make like electrical pulses that no one can see. So, like that'd be cool as shit. And like it's the most like easily hidden of the like besides like being telekinetic. Easily hidden of like the aggro, aggro superpowers I could have. Plus, could be like magnet field, no bullets, bitch. Accidentally <laughs> sends it to a track, so they just <laughs> fall. You yeah, like, like, yeah, it's like you're, you're... <laughs> it just attracts other metal things. <laughs> you know, like, you get shot up. with all the bullets, and then just a mailbox <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Oh, it's a mall, he's down. It's like a dumpster. <laughs> I don't want that. Huh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can feel uh, like Gil would have, like, I don't know, be a pun on his name. He's like Aquaman. No. No. Oh, how fucked up <laughs> would that be? Gil, <laughs> that's his <laughs> they just give you Gil. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh. So it's like more of a hindrance, so you need, like, a fucking, like, one of the camel pouch backpacks with you at all times. See, I got a, I got crapped on in like whenever Kim Possible came out <laughs> because of that one villain. <laughs> Gil with two L's. Yes, he was originally Gil, Gil with one L, L. but now Gil he's Gil, Gil with two L's. What the fuck? You've never seen that Kim Possible no, I didn't episode? Watch, I oh, never man. watched Kim Possible. I didn't have the Disney Channel. You fuck. Oh, that's that's okay. <laughs> So thanks, Lloyd, for that question. And if you want to ask us more weird-ass questions about if I will be a villain or anything like that... You totally would, but is that the only question? Yeah. yeah tell okay, Keegan he's, he's a villain. He's a villain. Write that in a YouTube video essay so I can watch it. And remember <laughs> to tell him that he's a villain because he gets paid by Epic. Yes. And remember... I like the, I like the idea that their essay is just a bunch of sound bites of things you've said in the podcast. <laughs> Mail. Oh, at <laughs> At robro.com. <laughs> Mail at robro.com. <laughs> Thank you for listening. That's a fun question. I don't like it. <laughs> <I do. laughs>